Hello programmers in this video we are going to discuss about how to read and write the records in MongoDB using Apache Spark with Scala. Fine let's get into the program and they will start with the dependent libraries. To connect the Spark with the Mongo database we have to use the mongo-spark-connector and here I am using the latest version is 3.0.1 with the Scala version is 2.12.15 and the remaining is Spark SQL and Spark Spark. Fine. And here you can see this is a simple scale object. It's simple main method. And here I just creating the object for a Spark session. And here I define the master as a local. And the app name is a Spark Mongo app. Here I have used the two different configuration URL to connect the Mongo database with the Spark. One is the in and another one is output URL. Here I have to define the database URL and I am going to use the database name called SparkDB. I am going to use the collection name called Scala Data. And the input URL is used to only read the data from the database. And the output URL is used to write the data into the database. And it's not necessary to use both URI in the application, but depends upon the usage. Fine. Let's see how to read the data from the database. And you can see this is a simple function. And here I started creating the object for Java Spark context. And due to the Mongo database, the data which are available in the form of document. So here I have created the simple JavaScript Java context and with the help of mongo spark iphone load dot load function i'm just going to load this configuration into the function and this function will return the simple rdd and later we'll do any kind of transformations in the spark and here i just calculating how many records are available in the particular collection and here i just display in the record fine and just to demonstrate the difference between the input and output you are in now I'm going to command that uh, output URI because we're going to only read operations. Fine. I'm just going to run the program. Let's see the result. Fine. See, it seems got completed. And you can see these are the fields which are available in the database. And the field value start with the 0 to and field to 100 to 105 field to 3000 2005 and then the id value which will automatically in the mongo database will create this field fine and let's see how many record you can see how you can see yeah it's a total number of values is six and let's see how to write the data into the mongo database and i'm going to command the read operation and uncommon the write and the similar thing for the configuration as well and you can see this is a simple function and here I, here we are going to create the simple integer function and going to start with 6 to 10 these are the value which we are going to insert and here I just uh, creating the, the JSON and uh, with the field key called field one in the values will be in loop in the i know it's a value six starting with six and the field two 106 and the field three thousand six fine and just and this function parallelize function will return the document and the same document and just we're going to write into the manga database with the help of mongo spark dot save fine and just going to run the program let's see the result yeah seems the data has been inserted now I'm just going to read the data and let's see i'm going to run the program let's see how many values are available in the database
since it's got completed let's see the result yeah you can see now 0 to 9 10 values is there and field 1 is 0 it start with 0 it start with 100 and 1000 and end with 10 and then 1010 and 10,010 because we are just appending the value not incrementing that's the reason again fine and it will calculate how many data in the collection we can see it's 11 fine that's all about read and write the data in mongodb using apache spark with scalar if you have doubt or clarification or any suggestion please share in the comment section thanks for watching